you guys. So I just saw uh, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, and to do a review, I didn't want to go the goods and bads route. I kind of wanted to do some research on expectations of a Ghostbusters movie, and then go, and then go from there. So in a Ghostbusters movie, here are the expectations. You can expect a mix of comedy, supernatural elements, and action. The story typically revolves around special individuals uh, that specialize in capturing ghosts and other paranormal entities using advanced technology. Expect witty dialogue, spooky encounters, and thrilling ghost-catching scenes, all wrapped up in a fun and entertaining adventure. Entertaining adventure. Okay, now having said all that, does Ghostbusters Frozen Empire... Uh, fit that criteria uh, for the most part yeah it does it does uh, it does have uh, some decent dialogue it has um, some uh, introductions to good characters and bringing in the uh, 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 the old characters to come in and blend with them and that's kind of what I've always wanted I wanted a new story featuring the old Ghostbusters now out of the um, remaining Ghostbusters, only Ernie Hudson and Dan Aykroyd have the most screen time and their presence is pretty much felt, uh, you know, every time they're in. So, you know, kudos to that. I love that part of, of the movie. As far as the, uh, you know, the building, the continuation of building of characters um, that came from uh, Afterlife, you know, they really do that well as well, especially uh, with McKenna Grace's Phoebe Spengler, who is really the focal point in all this. And, you know, was that the way to go? I'm not too sure. I think that, you know, I would have liked to see something a little bit more uh, from, from them as far as their evolution as a Ghostbuster instead of, you know, any uh, social awkwardness or anything like that. I would have preferred it go the route of being an actual Ghostbuster. And uh, that would have been actually a little bit better for me. Uh, ghost catching scenes. Are there ghost catching scenes? No. There are hardly any ghost catching scenes in this. You get uh, Slimer, who I love that they came back. And, and one of the things I also liked about it, too, was that they, they kind of like, you know, they gave you subtle nostalgia, not, nostalgia, not like, bombard you with it okay cobra kai is still the best when it comes to how to do nostalgia but anyway uh but slimer's back uh didn't get as much as i wanted to out of that uh and you know so th there was a lot miss missing from that you had muncher in the first one i didn't see muncher at all in this i could have uh you know used a little bit more of, of muncher as well on in this one uh as far as the uh, technology used, there was the drone trap was cool. I really liked the drone trap, uh, you know, but there could have been more. There could have been more, you know, the way they uh, upgrade the pro the proton packs was good and cool, but they they could have had a better gadget than that. In Ghostbusters 2, they brought out the uh, the, the slime the slime gun, you know, which they briefly showcase in this also. Uh, but, uh, you know, so you had another, a, a, an advanced uh, weapon. And in this one, you really don't. Aside from the drone, you really don't have anything on there. So um, it, it just, it was missing something. It, it was a little better than Afterlife uh, because Afterlife was pretty much the Force Awakens, the Slime Awakens, you know, the Ghost Awakens there. Uh, and this one, is this The Last Jedi? Uh, no, I don't think it's The Last Jedi. But there were some questionable decisions in uh, certain uh, scenes and certain direction that this movie went. It, it is a fun movie. It's a decent movie. Uh, it's just not the Ghostbusters that I was really looking for. Sometimes it takes a little bit more than just having the old guys come back. It's, it's a little bit more than that. You know, um, go to the video games. When you go to the video games, there is no real, you know, like uh, any personal stories involved in those things. It is a straight up story, villain, and climax. And you go through the adventure of going through it. The Ghostbusters in 2009 did it as far as the video game. Uh, the newest VR game does that too. And uh, Spirits Unleashed also does that too. That's what I want. Go to the video game writers and write the next Ghostbusters to, uh, to help this trilogy. Another thing is I would like to see uh, comedic actors actually be recruited and in, and improve the, the team. It can't just be on the kids. That's not fair. You know, from, from, if you want to really look at it from a story standpoint, you know, I would have loved to see some new recruits and upcoming comedians. That would be absolutely awesome. Just like it was back in the day when you had SNL alum, Second City alum, uh, you know, make the first Ghostbusters. 
And then when you actually had the idea of having Eddie Murphy and John Belushi be in this, in the, in the movie in the first place. So, yeah, it does need some fresh talent when it comes to stand-up comics uh, to come in and, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, join the team and make it even that much stronger. So I hope that's what we go with on the, ex- on the, next, uh, on the next entry. Uh, but overall, uh, Frozen Empire was pretty good. I love the new villain. A uh, little Steppenwolf action going. Uh, but, you know, I wish I could have seen a little bit more of, of, uh, of that uh, character uh not enough screen time for that character and uh you know so that's what we really need you know vigo was a presence gozer was a presence this one was a decent presence just needed more more of, uh, from that so um either way leave it in the comment below let me know what you think of ghost life ghost life yeah ghostbusters uh frozen empire and uh see you down the road